Hello everyone! Hello guys! How are you guys on today? Well, guess what? Guess what time it is? It's story time with Miss Doris. I am so excited. I have an awesome book to read for us on today. Hello and welcome to story time with Miss Doris. Today's book we are going to be reading is... I have an awesome book. Can you guess what's the name of the book that we're going to be reading? Today's book we're going to be reading is Robin Hood. Robin Hood is our book on today. And guess what? Guess who our guest is today? We have an awesome guest for you on today. Our Muppet. So our guest today is going to be Muppet the Cow. Muppet the Cow is our guest on today. Hello, Shakana. Hello, Shaquavia. How are you guys on today? Welcome to Story Time with Miss Doris. I'm going to go ahead on and get started. I'm so excited. I like to greet everyone all over the world. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some good night. Someone is going to bed somewhere in the world, but guess what? You guys are just in time for story time with Ms. Doris. I'd like to give a shout out to you out there in Radio Land. Hello, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into story time with Ms. Doris. If you don't catch the live, then you, I'm sure you will catch the replay. Hello, Akeem. Hello, Miss Evelyn. Hello, guys. Hello, Acacia. Hello, Harmony. Tamilia, hello Tony, hello guys out there in Atlanta, hello Tori, cousin Nikki, hello guys, I miss all of you guys, hello Royce, hello Royce, hello Miss Nisha, welcome to Storytime with Miss Doris, I hope you guys had an awesome, awesome blessed weekend, I had an awesome Sunday, I know you did as well, well guess what, I know you guys are ready for that story time song. There it goes. Remember, make sure you are practicing safety first. I know that song really gets us moving. It's story time. It's story time. Story time. Story time with Miss Sherry to you. Sing to you. Tell you all just what to do. I love that song. Royce and Shakana. I know you guys are moving. Story time. It's story time. I am so excited. Story time with me. It's story time. Story time with me. It's story time. It's story time. I'm so excited. Sherry to you. Sing to you. Tell you all just what to do wow you guys were awesome i heard you singing so loud well what are you guys having for lunch today how many eggs did you guys eat yesterday for easter i bet you guys eating lots and lots of eggs and lots of candy hello miss bj hello miss bj how are you hello mr bill i missed you mr bill I hope you're feeling awesome on today. Hello, artists. Hello, guys. Hello, PLCC family. Hello, Tinkertown. All five locations. Hello, Miss Trish. Well, guys, guess what? Let's get ready for ours. Whoa, Royce is dancing. I know you love to dance, Royce. I told you guys, that song really, really, really gets you moving. I love working out to the song. Build up a sweat. It's awesome. Well, guys, guess what? <clears throat> Go ahead on and have a seat while Miss Doris read you an awesome story on today. Moms and dads and that. Whoa! Hello, Sophie. Hello, Sophia. Hello, Sophie. Hello, Miss Ebony. How are you on today? I hope you guys had an awesome, awesome Easter on yesterday. Well, guys, guess what? I'm going to have a sip of water. Then I'm going to get ready. Wow. You're at T.T. Keisha's house and you're having, hmm, macaroni, ham, fish, grapes, quesadillas. Wow. You're that sounds like dinner. 
That doesn't sound like lunch. Shaquavia, my goodness, you're going to be really stuffed. You won't even need a snack later on. Wow. Well, guess what? Let's get started with our story. Go ahead on and have a seat while I read you a story on today. Let's turn the music down just a tad bit. Today's story we're going to be reading is Robin Hood. Robin Hood. I bet you guys have beautiful smiles on today. I can see all of your beautiful smiles. I love smiles. I'm glad you are smiling on today. Robin Hood. Let's get started with our story. Here's a story of most famous hero who ever lived. Robin Hood. He lived in Sherwood Forest, just outside Nottingham Town, with his big friend, Little John, and his outlaw band of merry men. Yes, Robin Hood was an outlaw. Well, let's see what this story is going to entail. You see, while King Richard was off defending England, Richard's brother, the silly and wicked Prince John, took over the throne. Prince John was just as greedy. He was just as greedy as he was silly. The more taxes the gold he collected, the more he wanted. He sent his sheriffs to get every coin in Nottingham. Robin and his band of merry men fled to the forest and became outlaws. They outsmarted Prince John at every, every turn. They stole the gold from the rich and gave it back to the poor. And Robin was the boldest, craftiest one of them all. Just what to do. Say to you, try you just, just. Story time with Miss. Meanwhile, in the castle, the kind and beautiful maid, Marion, sat wistfully at her window. She and Robin Hood were secretly in love. She wished they could marry, but then she said, he probably forgotten all about me. And deep in Sherwood Forest, Robin Hood was thinking of his lady love. I love her, he told little John, but it just wouldn't work. She's a high-born lady of quality. Whoa, okay. Lady of quality. Wow, she must have some really, really are some good characteristics about herself, lady of quality and dignity. One day, a grand event took place, the tournament of Golden Arrow to judge the best archer in the kingdom. Archers from all over England began to arrive in Nottingham. A crowd gathered to eat, played games, and watched the grand grand golden arrow contest as for the prize it was to be a kiss from the lovely maid marion this will be my greatest performance proclaim robin oh uh oh he has his hopes up really really high to win this contest i hope he wins to get the desires of his heart. What do you guys think? Do you think he's going to win the contest? I hope so. Well, guess what? We'll find out in the story. The fanfare sounded and the drums rolled to announce the start of the contest. The archers marched past Prince John. Hmm, thought the maid Marion. I think that stork looks like, hmm. The stork winked at Maid Marion. Oh my 
goodness. We're gonna see what's gonna happen. Story time with Miss. It's story time. With Miss. They read to you. Say to you. Of course, the stork was the best of the all of all the archers. Even when the valiant sharers tried to mess up, the stork's aim. Twack! He hit a perfect bullseye every, every single time. Prince John smiled shyly. The best marksman in the kingdom could only be. Prince John ripped right at Robin's disguise with his sword. He knew he must be Robin Hood. No other archers could be that good good. Hmm. Sides him. Prince John ordered the guards. Uh-oh, he thinks something is going on with the contest. I don't think they're cheating, do you? I think someone is in disguise. Let's see. Story time with Miss. It's story time. Story time with Miss. But Robin Hood had good, good friends. They battled the guards and saved Robin Hood from Prince John. Long live King Richard, shouted Robin as he scooped up Maid Marian and disappeared into the forest. While Alan and Dell sang of life, laughter, and love, Robin Hood and Maid Marian joined the merry men dancing long into the night. Story time. Back at the castle, Prince John snarled, double taxes, triple the taxes before long. Robin Hood's friend had been thrown into prison. How could Robin Hood get past the guards? By disguising himself as a guard, of course, and stealing the keys. While little John set everyone free. Robin slipped into Prince John's room where the prince lay sleeping, surrounded by the royal, royal treasures. Robin ridged up a rope and pulled to lure the snacks of gold out the window to the merry men who were waiting for them down below. Story time, story time with Miss Jerry to you, sing to you. Robin Hood had just begun his escape when Prince John woke up. Oh, oh my goodness, wow. He was waking up from a sleep. He got a big stretch in. They're getting away with my gold, saw Prince John. Guards, guards, to the jail. Ouch, exclaimed Robin as the castle. Archers shot arrows after arrows all his way. Robin's friend fled from the castle while the sheriff set the tower on fire. Don't forget, guys, remember, we're just reading a story. Don't play with fire. Fire is very dangerous. But where was Robin? Would he escape? Yes. With flames licking at his feet, at his heels, Robin leaped from the castle wall and escaped into the forest. Prince John had lost again. Oh my goodness, look at the fire. Don't play with fire, guys. Remember, we are just reading a story. Fire is very, very dangerous. A few days later, King Richard returned to the castle. All the land was filled with joy. But who was most joyful was Robin Hood and Maid Marian, of course. Oh my good, the 
And what a beautiful story. Well, do you guys think they got together? After all, I'll show you the picture in a second. What do you guys think? I think they got together. Guess what? They did. They got married. Whoa, congrats on your new unity of life. Wow, guess what, guys? This was an awesome story we read in today. Robin Hood, you guys were awesome. You sat so attentively while Miss Storytime read you a story on today. I appreciate you guys and moms and dads, nanas and papas. Don't forget to share the video down below. For those that don't have time to read to our children, those that are busy, only thing they have to do is go to our YouTube channel, Storytime with Miss Doris. We have over 300 videos on our YouTube channel, and you can do a search and pick whatever story you would like to read for the children. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in with Story Time with Miss Doris. Remember, guys, if you're not feeling well, always, always let mom and dad know you are not feeling well. And guess what? They will take really, really, really good care of you. And moms and dads, I know when we are sick sometimes, I know our little ones or our loved ones they try and take care of us as well. So guess what? Just return the favor. You guys were awesome. Remember guys, when you're out and about and playing with your toys or with your friends or out at the park or riding your skateboard or playing with your baby dolls, make sure when you come in from outside that you are washing and sanitizing your hands at all times because we don't want you guys getting sick we want you well at all all times and when you're out in public with moms and dads and they give you your mask to put on whoa hello mr bill thanks mr bill i love you mr bill when you guys are out in public with moms and dads Make sure when they give you your mask that you guys are wearing your mask and you don't take them off unless someone tells you to. It's imperative that you wear your mask at all, all times because we don't want you guys getting sick at all. And remember, as I always say at the end of our story of today, make sure... I hope that if you're not smiling on today, whatever you may be going through, you may have a little cold or you may be sad, but guess what? If you're sad on today, I want to make you laugh. I want to make you smile on today. So guess what? If you're not smiling on today, Miss Doris at Storytime, have a beautiful, beautiful smile and Miss Cow, our Muppet, has a smile for you guys as well. I know you're smiling, Mr. Bill. I know you're clapping. I know you are clapping, Mr. Bill. I know you're happy. You're a happy young man. And Royce and Shakana, Miss Ebony, Miss BJ, I know you guys are smiling. I know you're smiling, Sophia. Shakana and Shaquavia, because guess what? Miss Doris puts a smile on your face. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome, blessed day. And remember, if you're not smiling on today, Miss Doris has a smile just for you. I love you guys. Take care. Have an awesome, awesome, safe day.